Okay, do you want to be able to spin your wedges a little bit more, maybe have them zip back on the green? Now, yes, a lot of it comes down to technique, but in some cases, you might just have wedges that are getting old or getting worn out, and you may have the opportunity to actually sharpen them up. There's a lot of different sharpening tools out there. I've got one here today called the Groove X. We're going to try it out. We're going to hit some wedge shots with a rather old, worn down wedge. Keenan's going to help us again here today. And then we're going to hit five balls. We're going to see how they spin on the green. And then we're going to get out our Groove X. We're going to sharpen these grooves up. We'll hit five more. We're going to measure everything. We're going to film everything. We're going to put everything on GC Quad and see, did this Groove X actually help? So let's go. All right, Keenan is going to stay here with the GC Quad. I'm going to head up to the green with the tape measure, see what we get. All right, so this is a 60 degree Titleist SM7 M grind, eight degrees of bounce, and maybe you can see it, it's pretty worn down before shot. About 80, 80 yards. So. and that one's a little spin. Probably the... Okay, back from the far reaches of the hole. How do you think those were as far as spin I, goes? I mean, they were not very spinny, 4,500 RPMs. I definitely think I'm somewhat of a lowish spin wedge player, and I was catching those maybe slightly high in the face, but they were all good shots. If yeah. they the right carry distance, and they probably just bounced and went 5, 10 feet, yeah. I guess. Yeah, exactly. The first ones, the first two or three, after their initial contact with the green, basically ended up a few feet past. The last two bounced a little harder, rolled out a little bit further. I don't know if that was all spin or just maybe depending where you hit that particular green, it was a little harder maybe. But So we have a good starting point. Now we're gonna get out our Groove X. Looks like this, comes in its own little sleeve. And it's, whoa, it's very sharp looking. So it's got, probably not gonna be able to see this, it's got two sides. It's got a grooving side and then it has a cleaning side. So well, let's try the grooving and see what we get here. We'll just go to this groove. And a few more of these. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Ooh, now I'm planning my form. Okay, now I figured out the form. You gotta press right down on it with your index finger. Now I'm now I'm cooking. If this doesn't work, it's all on you. <laughs> How's it feel? Noticeably different. Looks, Noticeably different. looks cleaner. And Definitely looks cleaner. They it. seem like they're a little more, a little more groovy. Yeah. Ouch, it's sharp. I think it's gonna make a difference. Let's find out what Let's happens. See.
Okay, 10 balls, 10 balls, five with old, worn out theoretical grooves and five with sharpened grooves using our little Groove X tool. Uh, takeaways, what'd you think between the two? What'd you? I mean, just looking at it, you could feel that it was gonna make a difference. I, I thought anyways, it was a pretty old wedge, so we had a good compare and contrast, but right, I mean, right away, just feeling it and the, the first thing, I mean, I, it immediately went a little shorter. So if there's any question about if hitting a shot with more spin, I mean, I felt like I made the same swing. You could probably see the miles per hour of the loft is gonna be very similar and the ball flew about four or five yards shorter yeah. with about, I mean, saw some of 7,500, 8,000 RPMs after the clean sharpened grooves versus 45, 5,000 RPMs. Right. So, so probably saw 25 to 30% increase yeah. in spin overall between the two and then then it really became more of a question about figuring out the distance because all of a sudden that spin was yeah i mean that, that was, was moving things around that was a surprising bit more. to me was how significant the difference was so i would say overall the groove x did what it was supposed to do it gave us some more spin now it would take a little time just to get that dialed in definitely but it did give us some more spin so uh overall i think the tool is definitely very substantial it is a heavy is a heavy piece of metal and seems to be very sturdily made. I mean, even though that little groove tool is very thin, very narrow, it looks identical after we sharpen the grooves with it. You can't tell any difference. So I think it's a good, solid feeling piece of equipment. So there you go. I had, uh, I had a viewer asking me about this Groove X. What did I think about it? I had never tried it. So now I've tried it, I would say, yes, overall it does what it's supposed to do. It's, uh, uh, I think you find it on Amazon. The price, I think, is something like $70. I'm not exactly sure. I'll put that down in the uh, description somewhere. But definitely will give you sharper grooves. Could be a little easier to hold on to. It would be my main critique of it. But all in all, a very nice tool to help sharpen your grooves on those older wedges. Uh, I want to thank Keenan again for helping us out, hitting all these wedges. It was really hot today, so we are both really sweaty. I'm sweaty. I didn't even do anything. So thank you to Keenan. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go down below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram at Mobile Club Maker, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.